Hello and welcome to RS Gaming Videos. I'm Ross and today I'm bringing you a mod showcase of the Better Storage mod. So I'm going to show you through this mod and in your basic Minecraft uh, survival world you would normally store items using chests. So if I can uh, make some chests I shall demonstrate. So there we go. I'll make a few more. I will need those later. So there we go, I've got chests, as you know, you know how chests work, you don't need to be shown. Uh, so now I'm going to move on to the the start of the mod, and at the very basic end of this mod are storage crates. So if I put stuff in the right place, I put those there, I put wooden planks in the corners, I've now made storage crates. I've got 16 of those and I'll bring them over here and show you. So you can place them, uh, if you shift click you can place them on each other and you can make a big sort of pile of them like that and if you right click on them they have an inventory. Uh, so I've got some blocks here to put in to demonstrate. Grab, 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 grab. There we go. So let's put those in. Now what it will do, instead of showing it, will only show that many slots of your inventory. It will only show a, the amount of slots that a, a large chest will show. But the way it works is, if you notice, every time I click, things are in a different order. And the way it works is, you can fill it up with lots and lots of items, more items than you can actually see. But when you right click on it, it will show you a random selection, which is kind of cool because you can store things very, very compact. But if you're looking for a specific thing, you have to keep right clicking, which is basically the equivalent of having a big, large crate in your house and having to sort of sort through it, rummage through it. A bit like if you have a big box of Lego, to sort of sort through it until you find the right stuff. And you see there's also this green bar that shows how full it is because, of course, you can't see uh, by looking how full it is because this window might still be full but uh, there might be more items in there than can be shown so okay that's that's the first thing so let's move on now to lockers so I'm going to drag some wood around there and put some trapdoors and there we go there's some lockers and now if I come over here again these are basically like uh, cupboards you see they have a door on the front and you can put them next to each other and they will uh, the handles will go together like that but um, they're like cupboards basically and they've got the I think that's the same as a small chest am I right? yep that's the same as a small chest um, but they can only be accessed from the front so if I go around here they can't be accessed see? and the advantage of this is you can build them into a wall you know, you can build them on top of each other, which you can't do with... Uh, or you can put crates on top of each other, but you can't put blocks above the the uh, chest, sorry. Because then you can't open them. Whereas these, you can put a block, and you can still open them. Which is kind of cool. Uh, so next thing is... Uh, oh, Okay, so now we're going on to reinforced chests. So, if I open up my crafting table... Now, the reason I made these chests earlier is because to make a reinforced chest, you first have to start with a chest. So, say I wanted to make an iron reinforced chest. I put a block of iron there. I put iron ingots in the corner. And I put uh, wooden logs around the edge. And there we go. A reinforced iron chest. So, if I then want to do the same with emerald, I can go ahead and do that. Uh, and there we go, there's an emerald one. Gold, exactly the same. And diamond, again, very simple. Same recipe, just uh, the expensive resources. So, oh god, find space for this. There we go. And let's put that one on top. So there we go, reinforced chests. You see, they've all got the same storage 
space, it's just which one looks best. So you might like a lot of gold chests, or you might like a lot of diamond chests if you've got enough, or you can just use reinforced chests. And the advantage of these over normal chests, on top of the fact you see it's got this sort of weird, it's, um, it's smaller than a double chest, um, but obviously these are single, single chests, single reinforced chests, and they've got uh, 12, I think that is, extra slots. Um, but the main advantage is that they are much harder to break. So you can't just break them and grab all the items like you can with a normal chest. It only takes a few seconds to break. This is a lot harder. So I'm not going to demonstrate because we'll be here forever. But uh, so there we go. They look very nice as well. Uh, it's lucky that the... Uh, animation for opening chests and stuff is already in the game. If it wasn't, I would have thought this mod would have added it, because that's, you know, this, that's the kind of mod that this is. Uh, where am I up to? Okay, so, we are now on to backpacks. So, if I just uh, open up the crafting table, make sure I've got the recipe right, uh, and so I put leather around there, I put wool there, and a gold up the top. And there we go, we have a backpack. Now these have got a bit more of a complex way to use them. Let me just grab some stuff out of here so I can demonstrate. But so if I right click, I place it on the ground, and you see it looks quite cool, and it's got, you can't really hear the sound, but it has got sound. And uh, it's it has the opening animation, which is kind of cool. So if I right click on it, it opens up its in inventory, same as a small chest. So if I throw some stuff in there, and now once I've done that, I go out of it, and I don't break it. I do not break it, because if I break it, I will lose it. So what I've got to do is I've got to shift to crouch, and then I break it like that. And you see it's now on me. So, if I view, there we go, there it is, it's on me, and I can walk around and I can be seen to be carrying items. Uh, you can sort of see it there as well, it's kind of cool. So, if I now want to uh, get it off, how, you know, how do I do it? I can't t just take it off my back like that, I'm actually not sure whether it will let you. I'm not going to try just in case it loses, no I can't, no. So, to get it off, I shift again, and with an empty, empty item, with no item in my hand, I click on the ground, right click on the ground, and it's back on the ground again, now I can open it, and then I break it again whilst shifting, and it actually provides, you'll notice down in the corner there, it provides one armour, so that's kind of cool, and there's actually an ender backpack, so if you look in my ender chest here, I've got a random arrangement of yellow wool that I've shoved in there to prove it's my inventory. So if I place it down, shift and break it, you can now see that I'm wearing it. Again, provides one uh, armour. It looks pretty cool actually with the ender eye design on the back. Uh, I do quite like that. And then if I place it down over here, See it down the ground, also has the animation, but you'll see it has my Ender inventory, which is quite cool. Carry it around anywhere, but the catch is you cannot make this in game. You've got to find it, and uh, there's a it's a secret where you get it from, so you have to find that out yourself, I'm afraid. But it's all part of the fun, so I'm now going to go on to armor stands and these are quite cool if you want to display your armor because a lot of the time either you upgrade your armor or you have multiple sets of armor uh, so this is how you craft it stone slab at the bottom iron ingot in the middle slots uh, sticks either side and there we go armor stand and I've got myself a set of leather armor to go on it so let's place it over here these are kind of cool. What I think Minecraft is missing is stuff to decorate your house with. And that's why these coloured chests and uh, cupboards are kind of cool, because um, that's a problem with Minecraft. You make a really awesome castle and then you've got nothing to decorate it with. So um, you simply just get your armour, you right click on it, 
in the relative parts of the uh, armor stand. And there you go. It is now wearing your armor for you to look after it until you get home. Change back into it. So, um, there is one final part of this mod. This is probably my favorite part of the mod. And this is locks and keys. So, if I want to make a key, I put gold down the middle, and I put gold nuggets on the side. I'm, I'm actually going to test. Yeah, you can do it on either side. And then you can make a key. Uh, and you can also take stuff like die, and you can put that there, and you can die the key to show easily which key it is. So I've made a key, and it seems kind of counterintuitive, but uh, in this case you make the key before you make the lock, and you make the lock to match the keys. So, if I grab that, and if I put an iron ingot in the bottom, the key in the middle, so you've actually changed the colour of the key. I didn't know that recipe existed, but uh, apparently it does. Um, so if I oh, put gold around it, I'm now make, I've now made a lock. And you notice the key doesn't get used, because obviously, obviously otherwise you wouldn't have the key anymore. So let's bring it over here. I thought that was a person for a second. <laughs> Panicking myself for a second there. So there we go. We now have a lock on there. And when you've got a lock on the chest, you cannot open the chest without the key and you have to uh, right click on the chest with the key in order to open it which is you know that's kind of cool I'm not sure if this multiplayer actually this mod I have to check that and put that in the video what's that hmm. um, yeah I can now open this and it's it also makes it harder to break the chest it takes me a lot lot longer again I'm not going to demonstrate because this ta this chest takes longer as it is it takes me longer to open the chest. So, where am I up to? I'm up to here. So you see now, I have uh, the ability to make some more keys. Uh, i tell you what I did wrong there. I didn't do what I was meant to do. Which is, if I pick up the right items... Oh dear, it's all going wrong now. If I put the key in there, I can now duplicate the key I already have. So now if I go over here and this is the new key you see that too opens it. Now it's not died by default even though my previous one was died so I'm going to die that one iron coloured and I've now got another one that doesn't work so I'll demonstrate with a key that wasn't cloned. You see this is a brand new key. I can now make a lock for this key but this key will... Oh, I've opened the other reinforced chest now but this key will not work on that chest which is cool um, and there is one final thing to go with these keys so once you get a lot of keys you need a key ring to keep them on you'll know from if you use a lot of keys in real life you need a key ring because they all get jumbled up and if you held them all in your pocket that would be silly in the same way if you hold them all in your inventory that's just going to be really awkward particularly if you have a lot of chests so here we go, I can form a key ring with uh, gold nuggets. I can now, so if I if I get the key ring, I shift again and I right click. I've now got the user interface. I can drag various different keys to the key ring. And you notice the, uh, the icon actually changes as I add more keys. You can't see the dying on it, but you know, that's understandable. So if I now try and open this chest, it will now use, it will try to use any of these keys that I've got on here. Uh, and if any of them work with that chest, it will uh, open the chest for me. So that's kind of cool. Now there is one final, final, final part of this mod that I'm not going to show to you today. Because uh, it's a little bit more specialised. But you can enchant uh, padlocks and keys. For example, you can enchant the padlock so it will take longer to break the chest. Because the chest can still be broken if it's got a padlock on it. But you can um, enchant the padlock so it will make it harder to break and stuff like that. Uh, and there, you can also enchant the keys, for example. And you can enchant them, you know, like a skeleton key. So basically you can open other chests with the key, even if it isn't the proper key. So that's kind of cool. Uh, different enchantments. So, uh yeah, I forgot to mention also you can break the... you can't do it with um, the keyring key, but... 
you can break the padlock off keys. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up. That helps us a lot. Uh, and subscribe for more. Go to our website if you want to get in touch with us uh, and maybe tell us a mod you would like to have reviewed. Uh, whether it's your mod or if it's just a mod you like that you think we ought to know about rsgamingvideos.com you can follow us on twitter at rsgamingvideos as well and you can speak to us there thank you very much for watching uh, again if you like this video here are some other videos you might like on screen now thank you very much and goodbye